Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to use the validation feature in Clapier. Validation is used in apps so that users make the right entries or submit data if they meet the right criteria or to check for duplicate entries. It depends on your requirements. Let's take an example. I'll use the attendance tracker app that I've created as an example. And I've created a very simple format for the attendance tracker, capturing name, date, time, and if the employee has clocked in or clocked out. If you would like to know how to create an attendance tracker app, there is a separate video on that which shows different features that can be used to create the app suited to your requirements and it is linked in the description. Now, here in this app, let's say an employee clocks in their attendance and if they make the same selection for the day, it should show an error message and not allow them to clock in again. For this, we use the validation feature. I'll go to the design app. You can see all the earlier fields. I'll click on add field and select the validation block. This validation block can be customized on the right hand panel. First, we have the option description. This is usually to add some helpful information for the user submitting data. You can also leave it blank. Now we have type of validation. Here you can select the type of validation check to be performed. There are two types, custom and duplicate. In this example, I will show you how to avoid duplicate entries. So I will select duplicate. We will see how to use custom validation in another example. Next, we have select fields. Once you click on it, you will get the list of all the fields that is there in the app. Select the fields to allow the system to search for similar entries that have already been submitted. So in this example, if the employee clocks in on a particular day and tries to make the same type of submission, it should throw an error message. Next, we have validation level. There are three types. Select the type that suits your requirement. To check for duplicates, in order to not allow a user to make submissions in case of duplicate entries, I will select error. You can also give a validation message. Click on save. In case of errors, it will throw in this message. Now let's check this out. I'll go to app home and make a submission. First, I will clock in and click on submit. You can view all the submissions under the Submissions tab. Click on any submission and you will get a right hand panel, capturing all the details. Now if I make a submission again with the same type of details, so I'll go to App Home, fill in the details again. Now for the same user on the same date and for clocking in, I click on Submit. It will throw the error message that I had configured. So in this way, the system can check for duplicate entries. Now let's see how to add custom validations to your apps to meet certain requirements. I'll go to my dashboard and I'll choose another app that I've created, which is order confirmation. In this app, customer details are taken in along with the type of item that they are purchasing, the quantity and the overall amount. So if a user selects an item, it has a certain value attached to it. They can choose the quantity and the amount will get automatically calculated. This amount is calculated automatically using the calculations and logic block. Again, there is a separate video on this feature linked in the description, so do check it out. Now let's say for this particular app, I would like the minimum purchase order to be 1000 and if the user makes a selection where the amount is less than 1000, it should throw an error message. But if it is 1000 and above, it should allow them to submit. I'll go to the design app. Again, you can see all the earlier fields. I'll click on add field and select the validation block. I will customize this on the right hand panel. So now for the type of validation, I will select custom. Now we have validation condition. In this option, you can implement logic and condition similar to spreadsheet. For example, you can use if, else, or operators and much more. But in place of cell values, we have the concept of variable names, which you can find at the top of every field in brackets. Now for this example, I had mentioned that the minimum purchase order should be 1000, which means that the validation should check if the amount totals 1000. So here under validation condition, I can type in at the rate amount less than 1000 and the validation level should be chosen as error to show the error message. So I'll change the validation message here and I'll click on save. Let's see how this looks like. I'll go to app home. And as you can see, it is already showing the error that I've configured. If I make a selection where the amount is above 1000, the error message disappears and I will be able to make a submission. If it is less than 1000, let's say I pick this item 
and try to make a submission, it will not allow me to do so. Now let's say you want to show a successful message. That is, in case the purchase order is 1000 and above and you would like the user to know that they can go ahead and make a submission. For that, I'll go to the design app, add another validation block. For that example, the validation level will be success. Type of validation is custom and the validation condition will be if the amount is 1000 and above. So add the rate amount greater than 1000. I'll change the validation message and save this. Now let's go to app home. I'll make a selection and you can see the success message. If the user selects an item with the amount less than 1000, so I'll decrease the quantity, it'll throw the error message. Now let's take another example. What if the user selects an item with some quantity and the amount is going over 10,000? Sometimes users can make errors while submitting. In that case, if you would like to throw a warning message, that is also possible. I'll go back to the design app and add another validation block for it. Here I will select the validation level as warning. Type of validation will be custom. The validation condition should check if the amount is greater than 10,000. So that will be at the rate amount greater than 10,000. I'll change the validation message and click on save. I'll go back to app home, make a selection. The amount is 2,500, so it is showing the success message. I'll change the quantity so that it goes about 10,000. It is now showing me the warning message. Do keep in mind that if you get an error message, the system will not allow you to make any submissions. However, for success or for warning messages, you can make submissions. Now to remove the success message, if the warning message is only to be shown, I'll go back to design app, click on the success validation block and for the validation condition, I will implement the logic to check if the amount is between 1000 and 10,000. So that will be and amount greater than 1000 and amount less than equal to 10,000. I click on save. So let's check this. I'll go to app home, click on an item type and as you can see only the success message is shown. And even if I were to exceed the amount to beyond 10,000, now only the warning message is seen. So in this way you can make use of the validation feature to check for duplicates as well as to meet certain criteria. We also have validations for the single line text block. So I'll just go to the design app. For the customer email field, this is a single line text block, which is this option. Now here, let's say I would like only valid email IDs to be entered. So on the right hand panel, if I go to the advanced section, we have the option validation. Here you will be able to select what type of input a user is supposed to make. So it could be only numbers, emails, a URL or you can give custom validation here as well. So here if I select email and if I go to app home, I will not be able to give any random input except for a valid email address. I make a submission really quickly. And again, you can view all the submissions under the submissions tab. This validation feature will also work on the mobile app. All the user needs to do is download the Clapier app either through Play Store or App Store. And the moment they sign in to the app, any apps assigned to them can be made use of instantly. So let's have a look. Over here, I have the mobile screen with the Clapier app downloaded on it. I'll open the first app that we've seen which is attendance tracker to check for duplicate validations. You can see the app is live and ready to use. So I'll make a quick submission. Now I'll click on submit. Even on the mobile app, you can view the submissions. Click on a submission to view all the details. Now I'll make a similar submission to check for the duplicate validation. I'll click on submit again and it is not allowing me to submit. Now let's check out the second app, which is order confirmation. I'll make a quick submission. The error validation is shown since the amount is zero. I will select an item and the success message is seen. Now if I were to increase the quantity to about 10,000, I get the warning message. So in this way, you can add validations to check for duplicate entries as well as to meet certain criteria while submitting data. If you have any queries on how to use the validation feature for configuring duplicate entries, custom validations or any other feature in Clapier, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.